But they're yeah. but now they're pulling because they they included who? Ahsoka Thrawn. Okay. Oh, Grand okay. Admiral Thrawn, which I've actually read that trilogy. It's a pretty solid trilogy. Um, he it's like just after the destruction of the second Death Star and the death of the Emperor. There's still remnants of the There's Empire a power struggle. left. Yeah. Yeah. And one of those people taking over the Empire is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Right. And he's one of the people that Luke and Leia, uh, you know, and Han, that they have to go up against to try and squash whatever remains Post of... Post-Vader and Emperor yeah. death. And so, of course, <coughs> now after Disney took over, all that, they're not... They have went out and said that everything that has been written over these past several decades is no longer canon. Yeah, all that's canon are movies. Yes. Right. And But recently in Star Wars Rebels Season 3, they introduced Grand Admiral Thrawn back into canon. Right, so Disney is p- picking and choosing from these... This humongous source library yes, of what they want to bring. Yes, but they're in. picking and cho- it seems like they're picking and choosing things that uh, stuck with the fans or things that were like really like just the really good stuff is that what they're going to pick and choose from it. So the Journal of the Wills and the way this thing plays out. So we see Ray on the planet, probably going through training. You know, long story short, she's carrying a blue lightsaber. We'll go over that here in a minute. Um, but Journal of the Wills, how, okay, so, the Jedis we know, there's light, and there's and there's dark. The Sith. Yeah, there's Jedi and Sith, but. Okay, so how does this thing work? Because well, they talk of, about gray. The gray Jedi is the one that does not, they don't really focus about what's light and what's dark. They They've, use aspects of both, so like. Uh, a, go ahead, sorry. Well, gray Jedi would be one, for example, like could use Force Lightning, which is traditionally a Sith power, but then could also do Jedi-centric moves, too. Like, they're not... They, like Caleb was saying, they don't pick a side. They're in the middle. They use aspects of both. But the way I kind of understand it, and the way that it, it's kind of framed out where you, I take all this like th- previous 30-something years of knowledge mm-hmm. where movies are concerned and apply it to the information that just got pounded into my brain by you guys and by watching that one thing, it's basically like there's a Jedi code, almost like a Bushido code. For Jedis, yes. And yes. even for Sith. Or chivalry. Code. Chivalry if you're not into the whole Jedi. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it, the Jedi have a code of chivalry. <laughs> well, read but, if you're not into the whole <laughs> but, <laughs> That's kind of what I was going for. But, I mean, the Sith have their code as well. The rule of two? Yes. Yeah, but if... If what the Jedi have been preaching over the last X amount of years is false, false, so is the Sith. Maybe. Well, that's as of Episode Seven, the Sith are no more. The First Order is not the Sith. It is not the Empire. Kylo Ren is not a Sith. Yeah, because as Maz was saying, she's like, I've seen the dark side throughout the years. First, it was the Sith, then it was the Empire. Now it's the First Order. Right, but and so Kylo Ren doesn't have. He doesn't have an apprentice. Well, he, he, well, he, he is. He, he does. He's not an apprentice. He. The big Snoke, whatever, dude, yeah. that's, he's not training Kylo Ren in the traditional sense of the Sith uh, Order of Two or whatever. No, not by any means. And who, I, I would be interested to see more people. Like, because there's Kylo Ren, but when there the other knights? Be, yeah, would there be, well, not just the other knights, but would there be. Didn't they revolt with them? Well, I think the Knights of Ren are like Kylo Ren's personal guard. I have no idea. But they still wield, right? Not that I've seen, or not that we know. Okay. Because I think we saw an image of the Knights of Ren in Force Ray's... Awakens in her in Ray's we did, vision. We did. But none of the other ones were having lightsabers. It was just Kylo. But I'm saying like there might be other like force wielding red lightsaber people so, in the First Order. Are the Knights of Ren something that Leia put in place to protect her child? No, Knights of Ren is First Order stuff. Oh, so that's after he left. Defects. Luke. Yes. Okay. Well, and you have to realize that. And I don't know if it's considered canon or not, but it's that the Emperor sent people out to discover these far reaches of space. Because, like, the whole new trilogy is a whole different section of the, of the galaxies, of the galaxy. Like, uh-huh. that's, the New Republic is not on Coruscant anymore. Like, the, the planet that gets completely obliterated. And it was a series, it was several planets. That yeah, but one of them was the New Republic's home base. It's yeah. not Coruscant, but... Coruscant. Or, yeah, that was Coruscant. I could be So, wrong. Cody, break down this preview for me, because 
We've gone over her like training and stuff. Where are they? What planet are they on? Dude? Octo. Okay. So they're on Octo. They're on an she island. Is. She's training with Luke. This whole thing, he does voiceover where it's like, breathe, just breathe. Mm-hmm. Um, we see another planet with the red sand. Yeah, now, it's not what... red sand. It's like a, like a desert, and they're spraying that red stuff. Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, it looks is, like the sand. Oh, yeah, it looks like because they have the thing. It looks like it's dragging the ground, and it's causing red dust to fly up. Well, is I thought the the ships were releasing it as like a smoke screen or something. Oh, Honestly, maybe I don't know. It could be either way. We really because the ground well, itself was white, like a bone true. white right, desert. But, I mean, but, and they are headed towards first the eight people, so it the could AT-ATs. be a smoke screen. It to, could to mask what's behind them. My thing is this: is that um, we've seen that we saw them use color in. Uh, the Force Awakens with the planet where Ray is. Um, oh, Jakku. Yeah, with the black and all that. So it went, the field's black or whatever. Whenever they park the ship, fuck, I haven't seen it in forever. But I don't remember. Okay, so the planet that she's on with the dude from Doctor Strange. The dude from Doctor Strange. Her dad, Mads Mendelssohn or whatever. That's Rogue One. Is that Rogue One? That's Never Rogue mind. One. See, dude, I'm telling you, my brain. It's fucked up. No, that's Jin Erso. And... Okay, so but on that planet, are the fields not black? They're they are. green. I thought, they're... I thought they were black. So oh, no, they're... there's black sand, yeah, and then they cool. have the green fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, okay. So they're using Got color, it. and so I wouldn't be surprised if they brought that color into this where, yeah, it's white when it's still, but whenever it gets kicked up, it's red. But it very well could be a smoke screen, too, which would be awesome, because a red smoke screen sounds sick. Right. And I, th- I mean, that's why I think it's gonna happen. And of course, we see some walkers in the background. Yeah, that. walkers in the background. But also in this trailer, they're as they've said in the panel in the Last Jedi panel that uh, very early on in the movie, the First Order is going to retaliate against the Alliance and attack their base. Yeah, and that's and, where Leia is gonna get hurt. And that's where we think that... But I heard that she's supposed to use the Force in, like, a big way in this movie. And she may save someone. Maybe. I don't know. But I know that I will never, now never, ever see Leia wielding a lightsaber. And that's just the one thing I wanted after all these years. Yeah, but you'll get a pretty kick-ass girl wielding a lightsaber, so... But it's not Leia. Even though I do like Rey. I, I love this the new people, like, Ray, Finn, and Poe. They are amazing. I fell in love with Poe Dameron. Bro Poe! His Bro Poe. first line, he, uh, the first line he says to Kylo Ren, he's like, so who talks first? You talk first, I talk first? Yeah. And I was like, love you! <laughs> yeah, and he, I mean, that line cemented him as a character forever because, yeah, that's that that's that quick-witted uh, Harrison Ford, uh, uh, Han Solo, Han Solo shit. Deal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and where, you know, Finn feels kind of like the innocent idiot like Luke. And yeah. raise the badass kind of like, you know, Leia. Obi-Wan or Leia. Yeah. So. I saw what you did there. Hmm. Obi-Wan. It's, it's, it's Obi-Wan's kid, man. Let, okay, okay, let's, now that we're on it, let's talk about <laughs> it. Now, I have seen so many people say Rey is a Skywalker with absolutely zero proof. But. I'm going to ask you one question. Okay. Skywalker, Luke. What color is his lightsaber? Green. Okay. Started out as blue though, because he had the Anakin. He had Anakin's lightsaber. He had Anakin's. Now, who was Anakin's master? Obi Wan. Okay. Who was Anakin's master originally going to be though? Qui Gon. Who carried what? Green. Green. Okay, that's fine. But who was Anakin's master? Obi Wan. Not who was gonna be, but who was Obi Wan. Okay. Obi Wan carried a blue lightsaber. Okay. Which became, and then Anakin made a blue lightsaber, obviously, from a crystal or whatever. So, Rey, we see her using this lightsaber, I'm assuming. It's An- I, As far as we know, it, actually, no, she is using Anakin's lightsaber still. She hasn't made one. We don't know that. Well, you could see in the trailer, like, as she's running, like, it's Anakin's lightsaber. Yeah, we don't, it could be the same kind of design. Anyway, my argument is that, is that she's Obi-Wan's kid, is basically... Which doesn't make any fucking sense timeline wise, because unless he had a kid, he's a really hundred fucking years old whenever he sees Luke. But and he's dead. I mean, she would be a small child, a baby that he would have dropped off on the planet. Yeah. So well, I don't know. Maybe I'm daughter. talking myself out of it, but I, I think it's Obi Wan's granddaughter kid. could be a more viable option. But he, they're not supposed to have kids. That doesn't mean anything. 
Especially I after know. the Jedi Order was destroyed at, at the we end of We all know Obi Wan was a bit of a player. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's even like that's even canon. That was in the Clone Wars. He was in love with the one of the lead, the leader of Mandalore, a queen or a princess or something. Anyway, I, I just think name, that her continuous that use of the blue, her always being shown with blue, Obi Wan always being shown with blue, makes me think that she. And not only that, but in Force Awakens, when she first touches the lightsaber in yeah. Force Awakens, you hear a voice call her name, and it is Obi Wan. Obi Wan's voice calling her to that lightsaber. Yes. So I mean, yeah, but Obi Wan talk call well not calls Luke, but Obi Wan is the one who gives it to Luke. It's still Obi Wan's voice. It is. I don't know that. I I still maybe think that she could be a solo. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, but they're broken up. It would make perfect sense. Cause well, because there's a theory because Leia, um, she had half twins. Brother. No, she in in uh, the books, like in the Thrawn trilogy. Well, she yeah, had they twins. had twins, but that's not canon Jason anymore, and Jaina. No. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know. We're, hopefully, we find out. We may not. We may not. But find I'm out. I'm very certain that Kylo knows her, because in the very beginning, or not in the very beginning, but somewhere he along, senses it. Well, somewhere along the line in Force Awakens, he uh, he goes, he ran off with a girl on Jakku, and he gets really pissed off immediately. He goes, what girl? Because he knows yeah. that some, that he dropped off, or someone was dropped off. He knows that There's a Rey girl is. out there, yeah. Well, or maybe it's his sister. Fuck, who knows, man? Well, there was I a thing, a theory I had read soon. a while back, that like she could be both... Kylo Ren's sister and Poe Dameron's sister because supposedly, and I haven't read any of the, the recent Marvel books to verify, but Princess Leia knows Poe Dameron's dad. Ooh, Princess Leia? And freaky. Okay. Well, there was that period where they were split up, her and Han. Yeah. And that's where the same so, argument comes that she could be a solo. Yeah. So it's it's not necessarily that she's a solo... Because Han's her dad. It's that she's a solo because her mom lied to Han and Poe's dad. Yeah. But, I mean, this is this is stuff. I mean, we're going to have to continue this conversation on Thursday because we didn't even get to why Luke says what he says at the end of the, of the trailer. We'll, we'll hit that first thing on Thursday. Okay. Um, but, anyway... I want to thank you all very much for joining us on this great Tuesday, um, the Tuesday after that Christian holiday where he is resurrected, whatever holiday that is that you want to call it, I don't know. Weaster. Weaster. Um, a uh, special thanks to Rock Bottom Comics as always, uh, Mayher as always. We also want to thank our friends over at The Streamer's Guide to the Galaxy, where if you are looking for something to stream on Netflix and you have no idea what anything is about, they just put up their episode 7, which is a sequel kind of to Terrace House, which was their episode 1. Apparently they are in Hawaii, it looks like. I don't know. Um, haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. But um, the the couple over at uh, the Streamer's Guide to the Galaxy are great people. Um, funny, funny. They remind us a lot of us. And uh, I recommend them very highly. So please, please, please go over and check those guys out. Um, thank you all to our new listeners. And thank you all to our continued listeners. We love you all very much. Um, we are about 300 individual listens away from a big milestone for us. And I'm thinking maybe we put something together for that. I don't know. That sounds like a solid plan. Maybe like a little giveaway or something. Yeah. Yeah. We'll so, sign something for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> autograph something of high value and send it to you so it's completely fucking worthless. <laughs> um... <laughs> Game. I'll draw a picture of a turkey just by using my hand. Cody can teach me how. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you go to iTunes, leave us a review. Uh, yeah, write us a note. Send us a question. If you want us to ask her a question on, about anything you have questions about, let us know. Email us. Or if you have requests for us to talk about. Yeah, because we're always looking for new ideas and stuff. And I'm tired of coming up with us just coming up with ideas. I would love to have something that's fan-driven. That would be great. Yeah, so, that would be nice. Um, again, thank you all for joining us on Tuesday, and we'll see you guys on Thursday. I'm James. I'm Kalen. And I'm Cody. And we will see you guys then.